Hey guys, I'm back, and as I said in the last video, I'd show you how to transfer your stuff from the SD card in your phone to upgrade it to a bigger card. My mom went out and got two Lexar 8GB SDHC cards. I'm not sure what the read and write speeds are on them. Uh, nope, doesn't say. But yeah, this is how to copy all your apps and contacts and everything from your phone to the SD card. Or yeah, to copy them from this to the new SD card, from the current one in there. So, let's get started. What you want to do is uh, plug the USB cable for your device into it. With the, with the current SD card in there, or if you have an SD card reader, that works fine, but my, my desktop doesn't. Then you want to plug it in. And it buzzes, saying that it's plugged in and charging. Okay, show up. It's weird, sometimes this phone do doesn't want to work. Okay, I'll get my mom's SD card reader and come back. Hey guys, um, so I brought up my SD card with the reader. For me, it's a removable disk. What is it, E? Yeah, removable disk E. It's got quite a few folders on it. And what you want to do is create a new folder. So this is just my normal documents folder. Or no, documents. This is my main user folder. What you want to do is just create a folder. And just label it something like temp. Because we're going to be deleting it after we're done. So what you want to do is copy or select everything, which is control A. And then cut paste so then it empties your card and this shouldn't take too long yeah take about a minute yeah I don't think I ever talked about the pros or cons of this phone um, the things I like about it are the battery lasts quite a while it's got a 15 milliamp hour battery to it and the screens really responsive and another thing that I like about it is the physical keyboard. You don't see too many smartphones now with keyboards built into them. With an I with the iPhone, you can get a case for it that costs like eighty bucks. So, I like being able to have a micro SD card slot because that's another thing the iPhone doesn't have. Yeah, this phone's just fine the way it is. It's got a, the flash, as I said, uh, and it's leggy right now. Oh, it copied. Okay, so now what you want to do is take out your old card, take out your old card from from the reader, which is it, in this case the two gig the two gigabyte Samsung, and put in. Try and do this one handed. This is the eight gig Lexar. And why is my phone dying? Whatever. So yeah, put in the new the new card. It'll pop up. Open folder. What you want to do now is co cut, or if you want to keep a copy of it, just go copy. No. Okay. So what you want to do is... Ugh, stupid me. Is uh, select all, again. If it wasn't already, select all. But you can go cut, if you just want to move them, as I said. Or you can go copy to be able to... Uh, just co or just to keep a backup on your computer and then you can paste it to your new card and this should take about the same length of time oh that's weird my phone restarted eh whatever one minute it always overestimates yeah this phone comes with uh... comes with a gallery app like a pictures app music memo the market of course google latitude google maps internet google search my account. A nice thing is it comes with a file browser called My Files. And then it's got uh, the news and weather, Google Places, and little Samsung store. Uh, the settings, of course, uh, Google Talk, Task Manager, Voice Recorder, Voice Search, and YouTube. So it's got a nice selection of apps right on it. And it is done. 
Okay, so now let's go on to, or let's go back to the camera view. Okay, so now when you're done with the computer, you can uh, eject it and then take it out of the reader, put the reader aside, and then you got your new SD card. You want you want to open your phone again if you if you put it back together, and then put it in. Well, actually, before that, I'll show you what happens when you take a. Yeah, there we go. When you take your SD card out, like I can't open Angry Birds or Astro or my barcode scanner or uh, Jota or one of my emulators. None of these will work. Application is not installed on your phone. So if you take if you install the applications like there's some here, like Twitter and Team Viewer that I installed to the phone, so if my SD card crashes, I can still use them. Oh and the ad Antivirus. It's a really good thing to have an antivirus on your smartphones. Okay, so you want to put the SD card back. And in my case, preparing SD cards, media scanning, and that's really bright. How close can I get? There. Well, that's quite close. Okay. Usually does that two or three times. And then your apps will slowly start coming back usually. And it froze. Oh. Oh, there my apps are starting to show up. Angry Birds, Dragonfly Free. All of them are back. Skype. And I still have all my contacts and everything. So yeah, that's how you can transfer stuff from an old micro SD, like the one that came with your phone, to a bigger one, like the 8 gig Luxor one that my mom bought. So yeah, now you can just put your phone back together, put your case back on, and you're good to go. So yeah, if you want, click subscribe, it's either there or there, or no, it's there. Click subscribe and check out the rest of the other of my videos. Like the video below, comment if you want, and like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash ttechmedia. Uh, follow us on Twitter, at Thomas E. Heim, and at ttechmedia. And yeah, I'm hoping to bring you guys more content to watch, because uh, I like doing these kind of things. It's just a matter of coming up with some ideas. Yeah, this phone's pretty snappy. It even changes orientation when I open the keyboard, which is really nice. So I've seen some Android phones that it's stuck like this, even with the keyboard out. But yeah, it even change even rotates the app icons. So yeah. I'm hoping to bring you guys more videos soon. Talk to you guys later.